Hey guys, welcome back, it's me Avalon. Thank you for being on my channel and watching my video. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get future episodes. Just press the subscribe button. Today I show you the use of the P.E.K.K.A. in Arena 7 and above. Now the deck here on the screen is not my invention, basically I've seen it on Clash Royale TV and it was no lesser than Chief Pat who was using this deck successfully and that's why I thought give this deck a try. So it's basically a P.E.K.K.A deck uh, as the star here in this deck, it's the P.E.K.K.A and the P.E.K.K.A is supported by the Wizard and the Valkyrie and so basically this deck contains two main attack Forces. One is the P.E.K.K.A together with the Wizard, uh, the Wizard of course will protect the P.E.K.K.A's back and also the free spell to give them some additional time to do damage and also the arrows to protect them on their attack, especially against minions. And then there is a second attack combination which is the Hog Rider and the Valkyrie. You may remember that duo from my comeback deck that I've shown you in another video. So they also work pretty well together. The free spell, the Valkyrie and the Hog Ride. So that basically makes up for two successful attack decks. And then also for the defense here, the goblins uh, in that deck, the wizard to defend against air troops as well. And yeah, I decided also to take the Elixir Drill because it is an expensive deck uh, with an average Elixir cost of 4.3. But enough of the talk, let's get into the first attack I want to show you. In this first battle I'm gonna show you how to defend against the giant skelly with that deck because of course when I did the battle I didn't know that this guy is having the giant skelly but I think it's a good example on how you can defend against the giant skelly. He puts the giant skelly way up front there and I use those little three goblins to defend against the skelly. It keeps the skelly busy while my tower is shooting for the skelly and also the valkyrie was a good support there um, to battle the skelly and it's already gone and now I have the hog rider and the valkyrie on a first attack here and I freeze them I freeze those minions there but I was a little bit too late with freezing those minions but already I could do some decent damage to his left tower there so basically his attack with the giant skelly turned into a counter attack where I was able to do some damage on his tower with the valkyrie and the hog rider and now I place another elixir pump um, on the map to produce some more elixir. Really no reason here to hurry. And when my elixir is full I drop this first P.E.K.K.A. He drops a rocket there on my tower uh, to make damage to my elixir drills and to my tower. And he also has an, a Tesla on the map. And notice how I waited some time before I dropped the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, to give that Tesla some time to decay. And the P.E.K.K.A also got rid of the Giant Skelly here, so the P.E.K.K.A will also defend against the Giant Skelly. And also notice how I dropped the Hog Ride and the Valkyrie on the right side, because he was really focused here on the P.E.K.K.A on the left side, focused on defending against the P.E.K.K.A on the left side. And that basically gave me a good chance to place the Hog Ride and the Valkyrie on the other side. Now I defend against these minions uh, pretty easily with the arrows. And his free spell basically a waste there. And yeah, I put another elixir drill here on the map. Produce more elixir and once my elixir is full I just drop another P.E.K.K.A. And this P.E.K.K.A now will take care of the Hog Rider. He drops another rocket there to do damage to the P.E.K.K.A. But he misses the P.E.K.K.A basically. And yeah, it's already gone. And now you see here the classical attack combo that you will do with the P.E.K.K.A. It's basically having the P.E.K.K.A up front as a tank and the wizard right behind. Uh, the reason for that is the wizard should take care of all those small units. Uh, it didn't really work here and yeah he's still focused on attacking me on the other side of the map. Um, he froze my defensive P.E.K.K.A there did some damage with the Hog Rider but not much to my tower and I'm already doing damage at his main tower, he ignored that completely and there his king tower is gone and that was a, a nice victory against Hyper Zero. The next one I want to show you is uh, an attacker with the Princess. So he has the Dark Prince and the regular Prince on his deck. I use the same deck as before 
Uh, again, I did not know what he has, uh, what cards he has when the match started. So I just placed the elixir drill here on the map. The reason why I did that is I did not really have something good here to attack. So I just waited, uh, placed the drill there and used my wizard for defense here against that first prince. What I'm really waiting for is I want to have the P.E.K.K.A. and the wizard together and the arrows and free spell. Or the Hog Rider and the Valkyrie together with a free spell or the arrows. I didn't have the cards here in the right order, uh, so that really took time here. Um, I used the Valkyrie to defend against those Barbarians. It turns out that the Valkyrie will really defend well against groups of Barbarians. And again, he completely ignores my P.E.K.K.A. there on the left side, walking to his tower. On the left side and now on the right side, at the same time, a Valkyrie is walking to his tower. And the P.E.K.K.A. already destroyed one of the towers, he's still not reacting here. Maybe he has left the match, I'm not sure about that. Now I finally placed the wizard behind the P.E.K.K.A., my P.E.K.K.A. dies. Uh, but the wizard continues to do damage to his king tower. Uh, now the proof that he has not left, he drops another hog rider going for my tower. And here those um, goblins come in handy and destroy that hog rider quickly and also the princess is not really a danger and I deploy another P.E.K.K.A. right on his side of the map. He drops the minions, actually a good move, a really good move to get rid of the P.E.K.K.A. there. And yeah, I'm not able to defend that P.E.K.K.A. there. Um, on the right side my hog ri rider is doing some damage but gets destroyed by the Dark Prince. Dark Prince now going for my right tower, doing damage there again. Uh, here the Valkyrie is really nice. The reason why I use the Valkyrie is never use the Goblins if this happens because the Prince, the Dark Prince will do splash damage and will destroy all the Goblins at once. That's why I place the Valkyrie there. Really a nice defensive troop. Again I place a Wizard and the P.E.K.K.A. to do damage to his tower. He places a Prince and I counter the Prince with those and so the prince cannot do a lot of damage and his tower is already down. The P.E.K.K.A. took out the tower. Uh, I place another wizard behind the P.E.K.K.A. but he counters that with barbarians and the hog ride. But he ignored the P.E.K.K.A. completely once again. And that's why his tower is already down. Uh, taken out by the P.E.K.K.A. Another 3 to 0 win. And the last one I'm gonna show you is against this guy here Tyrion. And he attacks with a golem. So now we're gonna see how this deck fights against the golem. We both place elixir drills on the map. So this is already a sign for me that this guy is gonna pull out either Pekas or golems. So something big must be there. He already has two elixir drills on the map. I'm basically just getting rid of the goblins there because they fill up space uh, in my deck. And yeah, a bad deck here. I have the Valkyrie and the Hog Rider, so I plan to deploy the Valkyrie and the Hog Rider together. Now I get the Wizard, so I have options here. I could also deploy the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizard. But I decide to go with the Hog Rider behind the Valkyrie. Uh, let the Hog Rider do some damage there to his drill and his tower. I froze all of those goblins on his side to give them time, to give the Valkyrie time to get there and destroy those goblins and do additional damage to the tower and his tower here already low in health already at 738 uh, in the meantime I place more elixir drills and one has already been destroyed by arrows uh, but I can place another P.E.K.K.A. here always make sure to place the P.E.K.K.A. way behind at your tower the reason for that is you gain more time to produce more elixir and you can add more attack force just behind the P.E.K.K.A. if you do it that way and now it's P.E.K.K.A. against Golem. And here you see that the P.E.K.K.A. will actually do a lot of damage to that Golem. Uh, really destroy that Golem and now those little Golemites get destroyed by the Wizard. And my P.E.K.K.A. is still alive, going for his Wizard, kills his Wizard. And yeah, now I tried to freeze, but I was a little late there. <laughs> Basically a waste of free spell at this moment. And I'm also behind an Elixir at the moment. Uh, he places another drill. Um, I take my time here to decide. Uh, when my elixir is full, I place another P.E.K.K.A. right up front. The reason why I place it there this time is that I have the wizard ready. And I want to push here a bit. Uh, he doesn't have the defenses ready, basically. I have the arrows. I have everything I need to get a push with that P.E.K.K.A. And that's what I did here. 
and also the hog rider going for the tower uh, Pekka being a little bit distracted there by all his defensive troops but the hog rider takes care of his right tower and now the hog rider already going at the king's tower Pekka coming to help there another Pekka uh, this time I support the Pekka with the Valkyrie uh, Pekka pretty strong there um, he places the elixir drill for defense but the Pekka takes that one also out pretty quickly and now the Pekka at the king's tower and down it goes and so you see uh, if you get the chance to play the Pekka properly uh, that one is really hard to fight against it's really a strong power to consider so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching the full length of the video and please check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all future episodes. Thanks and hope to meet you again soon. <laughs>